Alright, good evening folks. Something a little bit different from jet engines tonight and uh, I'm going to show you something I've just been working on and this is a um, high voltage uh, power supply and um, I'm going to use this for an 813 linear RF amplifier and um, one of the, that, this is a type of valve amplifier which uh, like most uh, high power transmitting valves uh, uses a lot of high voltage on the anode. So I've been working on this uh, nice little uh, project over the last uh, couple of weeks and uh, hopefully I'm going to give you a demonstration and a little tour of what it's all about. So let's just start at the top. Uh, right, that's the um, that's the top electrical uh, compartment here and basically we have a lot of capacitors and moving down here this is the main rectifying board a lot of silicon diodes with equalizing resistors and capacitors and I've actually got um, three sets of voltages here I've got the uh, HT voltage which is, gonna, which is about 2000 volts um, coming off the transformer which is rectified and with the capacitors uh, we get about some of the regions about 2.7 kV um, we've got another set of bridge rectifiers and diodes down there and that's um, screen voltage uh, screen HT which is about 700 volts and the blue capacitor there is my um, capacitor for the um, negative bias uh, which is all about 100 volts minus 100 volts and uh, so I've got a number of different voltages here and it gives a bit more versatility to this power supply and then moving over there uh, we have the resistor board which is the multiplying resistors for the uh, for the meter on the panel because that's a standard 500 microamp meter and we want to read about uh, up to up to 5 kV, but uh, this power supply will only give only deliver somewhere uh, of about 2.8 kV. And there's a couple of other little boards there for controlling relays, voltage regulators, etc. So what I'll do is come down here, and we'll see the. It's a bit dark, but we can see the business end of the uh, power supply. That is the uh, massive transformer which um, provides the, um, the high voltage and the that's got a number of windings on the secondaries with uh, with about uh, the highest being uh, 1000 0 1000 at 1 amp uh, so um, once that's rectified and filtered with the capacitors you, you you're looking at it about uh, 2.8 kV and we'll uh, switch it on in a minute just to show you exactly um, how much voltage we're getting so let's have a look at the front. So the front panel goes straight forward. We've got a little panel meter there, and we're interested in the uh, scale that's reading 0 to 500, and that's multiplied by uh, 10 to give us 0, uh, 1, 0 to 5 kV. And the voltage outputs are there, be positive and be negative. Um, this at the front here is a little um, uh, Arduino LED shield which I just put in there just to uh, put a bit of fun, uh, program that just to say high voltage. And then we have the main switches, circuit breakers. So let's just see what happens now. Once we, once we switch this on, um, if you look at the meter, we'll try and zoom in on the meter, you'll be able to see the effect of the soft start when I tell on the HD. So we'll just flick the switch, the main switch, and there's our little uh, Arduino LED shield going nicely. So let's just come back to the meter now, and when I throw the switch with the HT, you should be able to see the voltage um, go up to about 1.4 kV 
with the, as the slow start kicks in and then reach its maximum voltage. So let's go for it. There you have it, it's about uh, 2.7 kV, which is pretty good. Nice AC hum, which you can hear there. Now obviously with this, once it's on, you really don't want to go anywhere near the electronics there. Otherwise, you're going to get a little bit more than a nasty shock. So, you steer well clear of it. And uh, coming back to the meter, when I switch it off, you'll be able to see. I'll just zoom in there. You should be able to see the voltage drop as the bleeding resistors on the capacitors take over. There we go, the voltage slowly dropping off. And it's, again, you don't really want to be putting your fingers in there even when it's off because the cap capacitors do take a few minutes to discharge. So, that's my little uh, power supply. And uh, thanks for watching.